What's going on everyone, today we're going to be watching reacting to American Horror Story Season 3 Episode 2 which is titled Boy Parts. Uh, interesting title name. Uh, really looking forward to this because the first episode, really great. Actually, I'd probably say it's my favorite premiere so far of all three seasons, so definitely off to a good start. Uh, hopefully the episodes remain as interesting as they were in the first one. I hope, what was his name, Tyler or Kyle? It was something like that, I don't remember. The, the Evan Peters' character, hopefully he's still alive. Probably not, but... <laughs> I hope he is. Regardless, curious to see where all the other characters are at, what they're going to be up to this episode. Let's get to it. If you want to see the full like, reaction, that'll be my Patreon. Like that will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's watch. Oh, I like this song. Well, cook, she already made the call. We got $80,000 worth of fines here in the camp. Who's this? How can we help you, young lady? This is wrong. Oh, this girl. Wasn't she killed? Or is this a flashback? Unless she's just unkillable. I don't know. Why would you kill God's innocent creatures so they can be made into shoes? You think she's one of them goddamn Peter girls? No. <laughs> <laughs> one of them goddamn Peter girls. <laughs> Maybe she just didn't die. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, because she's got the power to bring things back to life, right? That's what she did with the bird. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Holy shit. This song again? I expect you both downstairs in five minutes. Shall I come in this? <laughs> Get over it already. He spent his summers volunteering for the United Way. Oh, he should be canonized. How can you be such a bitch? Because I understand people. And that guy would have happily taken a turn on me if he had the chance. No, that's not true. Those guys were his frat brothers. It's guilt by association. Open the door, mother. Yeah, I guess he just wasn't. He did. He seemed completely unaware that they were doing shit like that. So I don't know. I'm sorry I killed your boy, Candy. Okay. Given your Black Widow status, he was living on borrowed time, anyways. Damn. Well, I mean, I don't think she was gonna sleep with him though. So. I'll be down in a minute. Now listen up. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. She literally brought her here. If you scream. I'm gonna put you right back in the ground where I found you. <laughs> you understand? Oh. <laughs> How it is you still alive after all these years and not some moldering corpse? Uh, shut up! <laughs> That's what I'm saying. How is she still alive? I don't. Maybe witches don't normally do that. They focused on a ring she had. Maybe something to do with the ring. Because when she came out of the, the ground, I remember they showed her ring. Maybe it's like a Lord of the Rings type thing, you know, where it's got like the power to keep you young or something for life. Yo, the medium buck is supposed to have or I just keep you alive. Did I say Detroit 2012? Well, you must have got a D in math because there's only seven pieces. Actually, sir, I got an A in math. All of them. Calculus, trig, advanced algebra. Is that so? Mm -hmm. So I guess it's like a few years before the present storyline. Look! Pencil dick, I'm not stupid, okay? You ate that extra piece and now you want a freebie. <laughs> I like to speak to the manager, stupid fat ass. What did Damn. you call me? Get the manager. I am the manager. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit, yeah. She's using her uh, voodoo abilities. That's a cra That's a really interesting ability. Did send you to jail? No, there are lots of witnesses. None of them had actually seen me throw the oil. It made the local newspaper, and that's how Miss Cordelia found me. Okay. As it turns out, I'm an heir to Tituba. She was a house slave in Salem. She was the first to be accused of witchcraft. So technically, I'm part of your tribe. Is this where we all sing Kumbaya? Bitch, I will eat hey, you. Hey, 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 Did she say I will eat you? <laughs> What's this about? We'd like to have a word with two of you girls. A lot of people saw you go into a back room with some of the guys on the bus. What does that have to do with the bus flipping? These are teenage girls. How could they possibly do that? I'm just looking for someone who had a motive to hurt those guys. Who could have screwed with the brakes or the steering column? I don't know if they, they should say what happened because... They took me in the back room to try to get me high, but I said no. But like, even if they were to say what happened, Can I ask like, you why you visited that doesn't necessarily the mean they were able hospital? to flip a bus. Oh shit, yeah. Why would she do that? That I still, I still don't understand why she did that because- I felt bad for him. No, not, not visiting, but killing the guy there. He died right after you left. That's what I'm saying. Like, I was like, that, that was, they have cameras, like, you know? <laughs> Noticed that another boy you knew died in exact same way right before you got 
Oh, shit. They ganged her! And they got what they deserved! How did you flip the bus? Was it the wheels? Or I, was the wheels? I have no idea what she's talking about. Allison did it! She can move things with her mind! And I killed that actor! Why are you I'm saying all this? To her, which is... I'm sorry, detective. You're saying a bit much. Everyone here is a witch. I'm so sorry. Please don't send us to jail. Nobody's going to jail. Girls, will you leave us, please? Wow. She did fuck up really badly, though, going to kill that guy. Like, I get it. He deserved it, but you're just gonna get yourself in trouble. <laughs> she spit in them? <laughs> Don't. Come on. Did they not just see her spit in them? I guess she can make people do things. Yeah, she can make people do things against their will. Yeah. Come on, give up. I'm barely trying. You oh know? my god. He's trying to fight it. I'm gonna turn the heat up in that chubby melon of yours, and I'm gonna turn your brains to scrambled eggs. Holy shit! Just drink the damn. Water. Holy <laughs> shit! Shut up, Delia. Good. And she can make them forget because she made. I'm going to need you both. Yeah. To turn over whatever information you've gathered oh. on these girls, and never speak about it. Dude, her powers. I mean, she is the supreme witch, of course, but god damn. When this gets out, I'm screwed. Who cares? This is murder, like multiple murders. We're not going to find any evidence that we messed with the bus because we didn't mess with the bus. I mean, yeah, that's true. They technically didn't do anything physical to it. Oh, sure. Oh. <laughs> Dude, it's, I don't know why it's so funny when people slam into walls like that. <laughs> But if you haven't got the goddamn brains to know that when strangers come asking questions, we close ranks, well, then I fear our line is truly at an end. But they knew so much already. I couldn't toast a piece of bread with the heat they were putting on you. <laughs> you are soft. Now, if there's one thing you learn before leaving this place, it's that we, even the weakest among us, are better than Dude, there's no way she's she's blown me away even more than her other two characters did. The only thing you have to be afraid of is me. <laughs> this is some good shit. Where are they going? The morgue? Oh, are they gonna look for the body of Evan Peters' character? I'm still forgetting if it was Tyler or Kyle. I don't know why. <laughs> forget which which name it was i know what you did for me dealing with that asshole so i'm gonna return the favor it's in latin what is this resurrection spell whoa sh there's no way that's how they're gonna do it bro i don't know if that's a good idea like oh shit there's fucking body parts that's how bad the bus was holy shit Dude, this is gonna be like some frankenstein shit i don't think you should be bringing back someone he's in pieces bro oh that is Gross. I guess they're trying to figure out where everything goes. Can we please just get out of here? <laughs> Dude, seeing him like that is fucked up. I see. Potential. Look, nice legs over here. A great set of guns. Dude, they're literally gonna make Frankenstein. We take the best boy parts. We attach them to Kyle's head. Oh, that's why it's called boy parts? <laughs> Dude, I couldn't imagine having a job like this, dealing with body parts and stuff like that's that's so fucked up. I don't know how people deal with that. Like I don't I don't understand. How's the oven? Ready for a bun? I wish I could say yes. Oh, she uh, she's in a relationship. She goes through hell and it doesn't even work. We've been at this for a year. All I could do is stand around like an asshole while you get sick. That's Lance Hornsby from The Walking Dead, isn't it? Doc, can I have a minute alone with my wife? I think that is Lance from season 11. I don't know if anybody's seen season 11 of The Walking Dead and you know what I'm talking about. It looks like him. Yeah, I think that is him. I know it's horrible, but a lot of women do this. When they have no choice. You have a choice. If I start using yeah, I think magic it is him. to fulfill my every whim, then I'm just Fiona. So he knows about her abilities? I mean, that'd be weird if he didn't, so. This kind of magic, it's dark. It's about life and death, and I don't want to play God. She's saying this all while Madison and Zoe are about to literally resurrect that kid. Who did it? I mean, they said you were poisoned, but they obviously got that part wrong. I was tricked. By whom? The Black Devil. A love potion. I offer it as a gift. I guess that is a worse punishment than dying, is being locked in a fucking, you know, being buried alive. Where's my family? 
Return them to me. They never left. Or they killed. What have you done? Don't think that they didn't suffer because they did greatly. But the fate that I have planned for you will make their suffering seem as a gentle sleep. It wasn't oh. poison that I gave you, but something far worse. Oh. I give to you, Madame Lalaurie, was life everlasting. Oh, that's how she stayed alive so long. You are damned to live forever. To never know the release of sweet death. I feel like you'd go insane after like a couple months in there. <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> you want a bite? I can't believe they're about to fucking Frankenstein someone like, oh my, oh my god, oh, it's, oh, it's so messed up. There's no way. I just watched that new Lisa Frankenstein movie in theaters, so I mean, <laughs> the idea of Frankenstein's still out of my mind. <laughs> Breathe in the smoke. What the fuck? Give me your hand. Blood is our sacrament. Ow. Calprisiana, Afina, Beryl, Balvin, Gob, Gobor, Hagaba, Beryl, Beryl, return to the mortal coil! Arise! Didn't work? It's gonna be one of those things where it's gonna end up working. It's like gonna take some time or something. I don't know. Hey, I'll, I'll meet you in the car. I, I left my phone in here somewhere. Dude, he's literally made up of different body parts. Like, <laughs> they're not even all his body parts. Tough luck, bitch. Oh no. I'm so sorry, Kyle. Oh shit, dude, this guy's gonna be like, what the fuck's going on? He's gonna see a body all stitched back together with different pieces. What if they end up creating a monster? Like, what if this is. What if he's just, like, not himself, you know? Like, I don't know. What the hell are you doing here? Oh shit! Don't, don't kill him though. Oh my God, he does seem like a monster. What the fuck? Holy shit. Yeah, it just took some time. That's all it took. Okay, so again, she's alive, I think, right? So getting burnt alive just didn't do anything to her. All right. You get going home now. I was just finishing. All right, you all go home too. I'll finish this one myself. <laughs> so I guess she took the potion too then, right? If she's still alive today. Too much noise. Yeah, so I really like how they all have their like different abilities almost. It's like not even, they don't have like the same exact you powers. You think too loud. Oh, <laughs> you think it's too loud. bothering me? <laughs> so she hears a lot of things, like hears thoughts, I guess, too, right? And that's how she was able to hear. Oh, she... oh shit! Who is this stinky old lady? <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? She was able to hear the the noises underground because her thoughts were loud, I guess. Did you a voodoo slave girl who graced us with her black magic? She couldn't tell a love potion from a recipe for chocolate chip cookies if she had to read it. You made her a slave. Oh! Before that, she came from a great tribe, the Arawak. I didn't even think of that. And what is your wish, witch? <laughs> I want what you have. Oh, I forgot she was after that in the first episode. No shit, yeah, she's gonna want that. That's literally the, what she was doing in the first episode. And you're gonna give it to me because I have something you want. You could offer me a unicorn to shit hundred dollar bills and I'd still <laughs> never give you more than a headache. Boys! Right. Oh shit. Uh, Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess you can't really come after the Supreme, you know? Such a lovely place you have here. It's nice to see you doing so well after all these years. I love this sh season so far. <laughs> I need to concentrate. Just give me 20 minutes. So. Yeah, so what is she making? Whatever it takes. <laughs> is this the thing that's going to help with the, the baby that... Okay, I think that's what she's doing. Wait, I don't know. I guess she can make weird, interesting potions or something, right? That's basically what she's doing. I'm sorry. Is that an egg? I guess this is what you're supposed to do. I feel like this stuff is dangerous to mess with. Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. 
<laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, snakes! They're on the, the snakes are on the poster. Oh my god! That would be terrifying, man. I ain't trying to have sex with snakes around me. Oh, her eyes! What the hell? Wait, they never actually came out? That was just in their minds? That's so strange. Okay. Yeah, he's not gonna be able to normally, like, function, probably for a long time. <gasps> Look, it, it wasn't your- it wasn't your fault, okay? None of it was your fault. We tried to put you together the best we could, and, and then we brought you back on the other side. Don't get a new crash and kill you both. I'll forgive you. What the fuck? <laughs> no, you drew me out here. Oh, because I guess her powers allow her to tell when someone's being resurrected. Dude, what the fuck is going on in this show, man? <laughs> and we got 13 episodes of this. This is going to be great. This stuff is the shit. Oh, what? Literally. Louisiana Swamp is full of Spanish moss and alligator dung, which have amazing healing properties. Your misty day, the witch Cordelia told us about. Everyone thinks you're dead. Did she resurrect herself? You have the power like, I don't know. <laughs> oh. Something was calling to me. I knew I had to follow. And it was you, Zoe. Your magic brought me there. Well, I guess her and Madison did it. Now, I'm not alone. It wasn't really her magic, right? Who sings this? Who sings this? Fleetwood Mac! Stevie Nicks. Oh yeah. Is my hero. I know Fleetwood Mac. I really should be going. Going? What do you mean? My school, I'm sure they're, they're wondering where I am. <laughs> you can tell she's so lonely. I just have to figure out where to take him. Oh, you can stay here with me. She just wants someone here. And then, when you come back, he'll be good as new. Hey, you'll come back, right? <laughs> Dude, there's so many interesting things going on right now. We got some business to attend to. Is that her husband? From before? What? The Minotaur's still on him? Are he still a Minotaur? I didn't know it would actually like fused with him, so he's literally a Minotaur now. I just thought it was the head on top of it. I thought they could have taken the head off, but I, I guess not. The house of Madame Lalaurie. A historical site, my home, museum of horrors. People have always celebrated the macabre. You're not remembered fondly, but I guess that beats <laughs> not being remembered at all. If 10 of the hundreds of things I have read about you are true, then you deserved every minute down there under all that yeah, dirt. Definitely. Are you a witch or something? 100% <laughs> right on I that. I was hoping you were, and maybe you'd know how to kill me. Maybe she could take the immortality of her from her. Oh, actually, you know, it's crazy how accurate that looks to the flashback scenes. Like, it, but it looks so... I don't know, they did a really good job of making it look from the 1800s and the flashback scenes compared to present day. Uh, really, really cool with set piece there, but absolutely loved this episode. I think it was... I don't know if it was better than the first episode, probably on the same quality, but I'm, I'm loving this season. It's really interesting. Got a lot of different storylines going on. Now we have... Uh, Kyle that was brought back to life. I always wanted to call him Tyler for some reason. I think Tyler and Kyle are such similar names. I always get that mixed up. But um, Kyle brought back to life. I felt like that was a possibility because, you know, Evan Peters, I, I didn't want to believe he was just going to be gone from the rest of the season. I feel like he's a pretty big name that they probably want to keep him around for more episodes. So I was surprised to see him get killed off like that. But it appears that he actually is coming back just as like a Frankenstein type thing, you know? Which I think is really cool because like I said, they take a lot of elements from a lot of pieces of fiction, uh, a lot of inspiration from a lot of different things within these, these seasons of this show, which I think is a cool aspect of it. It almost feels like to me, like a perfect mismatch of of horror films and like horror, horror in general, right? Um, it, it just like takes the best elements of all of them and just kind of mishes them together. And it makes for, in my opinion, some really great seasons. I feel like this is like, I, mean, I guess that's literally the title of the series, American Horror Story, but it literally is the perfect thing for a horror fan, I feel like. You know what I mean? Because it just, it just takes everything. I feel like we've already had, just within these first three seasons, almost like every single genre of horror thrown into it in some way, shape, or form. And everything fits 
kind of perfectly, in my opinion. There's certain things maybe that weren't like that well executed in terms of how they were uh, put into the series. But I don't know, man. A lot of the stuff feels very organic and it makes sense why it's there. And I don't know. It's really great. And there's a comedy is really great, too. I, I, like, I didn't think this show would be this funny, but it honestly is. There's a lot of hilarious moments. And um, yeah, I can't get enough of it. I got to I got to see the rest of the season. Hopefully it's as good as these first two episodes. Well, hopefully they keep up that quality. I have no idea what the direction is going to be, though. Like, I feel like these shows are kind of hard to tell what the direction is going to be in. Uh, at least for some of the stories, like with Fiona, I do think she's going to end up trying to get the immortality ability from um, the, the the racist lady. I don't remember her name. Uh, I can't remember what her name was. Uh, trying to get that ability from her. As for Zoe, I feel like she's just going to keep going back, checking on Kyle, but I, I don't know what other storylines are going to be going on for her later on. Madison, again, I have no idea. Like I just don't know where these characters' stories or lines are going to go. I feel like Fiona's the only one where I have a general idea. But I, I just can't wait to see it, man. Hopefully, it's great. Let me know what you guys think about this episode in the comment section down below. If you want to see a full and cut reaction, that'll be my Patreon. Like that will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Peace out, everyone.